Okay guys, I'm here today with Rafael Rosendo, huge honor for me at his school, Alliance Greenville, here in Greenville, in South Carolina. Hey guys, today Rafa is going to show us one of his favorite submissions from the back, and yeah, can't wait to learn. Thanks so much, Bernardo. Honor is mine to be here with Bernardo, thanks so much for the opportunity. Let's go. There you go. Let's get third position. Uh, so, usually when I'm uh, attacking the back, I like to keep one knee by his knee and one behind the back. And then I like to go ahead and start to open the lapel under the armpit. So I'm gonna uh, I'm position my body on, the, on his uh, left side. So with my right hand, I'm gonna go with the, under his right armpit and already start to open the lapel. So Bernard, if you open the armpit here a little bit, so, uh, so we can I'm gonna open the grip right here, okay? So on this position, usually when I'm open the lapel, they are already aware that I'm trying to attack the neck. So usually they're gonna be protecting and everything here, okay? So with the left hand, usually I'm gonna keep bother them, going here, pretend that I'm trying to get that collar over the neck and everything, okay? And once I'm in here, there's always a space. So if you wanna come around a little bit on the side here, there's always a space that I can go through with the hand. And once I go through with the hand, I already have the right hand there, so I just grab where is the hand there, okay? Now I already have the choke. It's very hard for him to stop that. Even if he grabbed my hand, I already got the collar now, okay? Now, from here, I start to move towards his head now. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna transition forward with my right knee and put a weight with my left side here, okay? Now, very important. First part, I don't have to move much. I'm gonna start to chase for the other collar on the other side here, so. If you open a little bit, uh, Bernardo. So look my right hand, so I'm chasing the other call, okay? So I'm gonna go for a base clock choke here. I'm just gonna move my chest behind the head and begin to pull to get the tap there. And then once I get the tap, that should be good. Okay, so that's the entry for that choke there. The variation of clock choke. So again, so I'm controlling uh, the back with my left knee next to his knee and I'm surfing with my right knee behind his lower back here. So right hand, I'm gonna open the lapel, I have the right hand there already. So I'm gonna just be here, and then left hand, I'm gonna keep just him busy here. So we're gonna be thinking about protecting, boom and everything. But instead of going through the neck, I go behind, because he's always open. He, it's not gonna be very hard for him to stop this hand. Can I stop this hand here, Bernard? So look, it's gonna, it's gonna yeah. be very hard for him to stop. Then I just feed the hand from there, okay? Now I keep that control, right? And I'm gonna begin to change my knee. So my right knee now I'm gonna place where is the left. And then I'm gonna move the left forward. And then from here, I'm gonna begin to go with the other side of the collar. And I'm gonna transfer my, my chest over the back, okay? Now I'm just gonna pull and then start to control. Now, from here, I'm gonna release a little bit here so Bernardo can breathe a little bit. Now we're gonna have some reactions here, okay? So when Bernardo tried to turn it out to the other side, right, or try to get away, I'm gonna go with the hand. And then as I go to the head, I'm gonna go over to the other side and begin to roll here and take the back. Now I'm gonna keep pulling the elbow close to me and pull and finish the collar choke, okay? So that will be a little variation if you try to roll to the other side. Oh, Rafa, uh, is the main detail how you grab the collar with your left hand? Uh, that, was, that was new to me, like, uh, you don't let the person come, you don't go through here, you go almost like uh, underneath, underneath, and then there's no way to stop. It's so very there. hard to stop, yes. Can I see that, that, that thing again? Yes, sir. So, again, I'm already have the right hand set up, so the right hand is already there, it's already kind of triggered the choke, right? In the left hand, they usually go here just to pretend that I'm trying to go through the neck, usually I stay here, and then I go towards the armpit, and then I feed the hand, it doesn't matter what I feed, because even if you stop under, I can climb the hand up. Can climb and up. Here, yeah, exactly. And here I already have the choke, once I'm here. I'm just gonna transfer now the weight forward, and then I can go to the call the other side. So I put my knee on the floor, and be heavy here to pull. And then again, a common reaction is gonna be him either try to pull me over the other side or roll to get out. That's what I can anticipate it. And then take the back, and then finish with the regular cross collar choke. Oh, that's amazing. And the what fascinate, fascinates me about Jiu Jitsu is like all these small details that everybody has his own. And the way you approach with the left hand, this is it's a new thing here. Appreciate it. So, oh, that's awesome. So, this is pretty much a variation for the, the, the clock choke, the clock choke. that it, you mix up with the regular cross collar choke. Yes, sir. And then there, I'm um, kind of surfing the back too because there's a matter of reaction, I still want to have the back. So, if you have it here, and sometimes I get a lot of the transition, sometimes even if I'm just here. And let's say now you 
you try to open to try to get out to move your legs or something, right? Yeah, so see, I still have the, the back. And so as soon as you make any hard transition, to make any hard transition, just skip. You go to the back anyway. Yes, and then I already have the choke trigger. I so it doesn't matter where you go, you open the space, right? No, that's awesome. So, it's it always... It reminds me of Cabrinha for some reason. Yeah, he it's... does that a lot for the back, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. Yes, no, no. Love it, Hafe. Thank you. Sure. Thanks so much. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.